بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, yeah. now this is uh, part five um, I try to make it in different parts so you can watch it the way you like it uh, we want to do this limit you notice this is what limit is goes three from left x x minus three over x minus three square I cancel this Damn it, x goes 3 from left, x over x minus 3. Notice also after cancellation, still it's non zero over zero. So we have an infinity category. And you need, need to be careful. This is positive, but this one is negative. So that will be minus infinity. That will be minus infinity. This is A. I will do C, where I will do B and E. I think we did E before, so okay, we'll do it again. And I think it's okay, no need to do it again. So we have here C, is what? This one, or I can make it as a whole. I have cosine 1 over x, C minus 1 to 1. Exponential is an increasing function. So we'll make no changes. Multiply by x square. It's positive, non negative, I mean, so we have nothing to worry about. R3. R3. R3 also. So this is goes to 3, as x goes to 0. This goes to 3. And this one goes to three by Sanders there. So the answer is three. This one we did before. It will be infinity minus minus infinity, which is infinity plus infinity, which is infinity. This one we just rationalize. Yeah, you, you need to check first. Huh? So this is will be nine, not three minus three, zero over zero. So you need to do something. So that will be limit. This goes to two. X squared plus five minus nine. Yeah, this is what? X squared minus four or X minus two of X plus two. Class cancelled. Substitute. You get four over what? Two in a um, four, three plus three, four over six, which is two over six. I think we did before. This one, I think I make it uh, yeah, three slides, so I'll do it one by one. This one, as x goes to, the first I need to get rid of the absolute value, it goes to from left, this is a negative. So that will be limit x goes to 2 from left minus x minus 2, x minus 4 over x minus 2. The rest is just substitution. 2 minus 4 is minus 2 times minus. This is minus. I'll do this one here. Then I'll do B and, and B and D and then E in the next slide. Rationalize regular rationalization, but I think the calculations will be a little bit tedious. This is x minus 3 for x plus 3. Very clear. x squared plus 7 plus 4. Over. This one is what? x squared plus 7 minus 16. Actually, I don't need to do this. So this is x squared minus 9, and this is x squared minus 9. So we just cancel it. Yeah. And we just substitute what you will get. 9 plus 7, 16. 4 plus 4, 8. Okay. Plus 7 minus 16, which is minus 9, which is the same as this. Cancel it. That's it. B. Hmm. I need to be careful. I need to check because this is integer, so I need to check right and limit. Limit 
is equals to one from right of this gross integer function. Oh, so the denominator is one over one plus. So it's like one over the denominator is more than one. So that will be point something. So it will be zero. However, from left, what will happen? Hmm. The denominator is this than one. So it's like you have one over 99 over 100. Think about it this way. If I take X, for example, 99 over 100. So that will be 100 over 99, which is more than one. So that will be one. However, in this one, think about it, 100 over 99. Something more than one. So it will be 99 over 100, which is less than one. So the guess integer will be zero. So this limit does not exist. D. D very simple, just uh, factoring, but you need the difference of two, uh, the sum of two cubes, which is u plus two, u squared minus two u plus four. This is difference of two squares. Well, this is cancelled. Substitute. You have what four minus two minus two another four four plus four plus four. This is twelve minus two minus two minus four. That would be minus three. This one I think we did before. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. We did before. Okay. Now we have the special limits. These are the two special limits, and these are things coming from them. X over sine X, it will be the same. Sine A X over B X it will be A over B. Sine A X over B X it will be A over B. The same thing with tan. Sine and tan will be the same. Yeah, you can do the same thing for tan. Tan A over B it will be the same. Okay. Now let us do the problems. In AJ, if we just divide by theta, what you will have? Divide by theta in the numerator and in the denominator. So I'm dividing like multiplying by one. Nothing, nothing. I'm doing no, no changes. That will be what? Two sine theta over theta over this is theta over theta, which is one plus tan theta over theta. Plus, distribute the limit. This is one. This is one. So it will be two over one plus one. And that will be one. Yeah. Same idea. But since I'm working out all of these problems, so we'll do it. I'll not leave anything. That will be what? Limit is equals to zero, two plus sine three x over x over sine five x over x. This is goes to three. This is goes to five. So it will be two plus three over five. That is one. Same idea. But you need to do some calculation here or some factorization. Then five x. Can take x squared common factor. It will be 3 minus 5x squared. And this I can rewrite it. Limit x goes to 0. Sine 3x over x times tan 5x over x. The rest, which is 1 over 3 minus 5x squared. Look, the numerator, sine. 3x times tan 2x times 1, which is the same. x, x, x square, 3 minus 5x square. Alas, this is 3, this is 5, and this is just substitute. 1 over x goes to 0, 1 over 3. So the answer is 5, which is this. And I need to divide by, by theta the numerator and the denominator, and rearrange the things. So you have sine 2 theta over theta plus tan 3 theta over theta 
plus one minus cosine five theta over theta. I could not over. Look at, at what, but one minus cosine because we have or one minus cosine, we have this relation, which is the same as this relation. One minus cosine theta over theta is zero. Okay. The denominator, you have what sine three theta over theta. Cosine, I will leave it at the tan two theta over theta. Plus cosine six theta minus one over theta. This is two. We know it. This is three. We know it. This is three. We know it. This is two. We know it. This one will be zero. Since uh, put five here and multiply by five, so it will be zero times five, which is zero. And the same thing for this one, which is zero. So the answer will be two plus three plus zero over three minus two plus zero. So the answer is five. Same thing, you need to distribute them. But you notice there is something. If I take tan common factor, we think one minus cosine squared two x over x cubed. And that is what? One minus cosine squared is what? It will be sine squared of the same angle, which is two x. So I have tan x over x, which I know, sine two x over x, which is two, sine to x over x plus so i'm getting one times two times two so the answer is four yeah here you need to notice if we take one minus cosine over theta at zero still you have zero over zero so you need to do something so first multiply by one plus cosine over one plus cosine. So that will be limit. Theta goes to zero. One minus cosine square theta over theta tan theta one plus secant theta. Okay. Let us continue. That will be limit. Theta goes to zero. One minus cosine square is what? Sine square. So I can make it sine theta over theta sine theta over tan theta the rest one over one oh, i forgot here one plus cosine theta since you multiply here on numerator and denominator here it will be one plus secant theta times one plus cosine theta which is you can substitute easily this is one and this is also one. Why this is one? Because tan is sine over cosine, so this is actually equal cosine. All of this equal cosine. So we just substitute. So that will be one cosine zero is one times one over one plus one two phi two, which is one over. Four. That's my answer. And the argument is not x, and this is, is not zero, x goes to one. So you need to change the argument. Before that, you need to see the, the argument, I need to see it in the denominator. So what I will do, sine 2x minus 2, I will make it x minus 1 for x plus 1, multiply 2, 2, I'm doing nothing. Well, this is now my argument. So it will be limit x goes to 1, 2, sine 2x minus 2. I have the argument, which is 2x minus 2, times the rest, which is 1 over x plus 1. This one, my claim, this is 1. So we can distribute the limit. It will be limit x goes to 1. 2 over x plus 1 times limit x goes to 1 sine 
2x minus 2 over 2x minus 2. This is 2. Here, I will use let. Let t equal 2x minus 2. So what we are getting, this is 2 over 2, which is 1 times limit. This will be sine t over t. Mm. X goes to 1. So it means x goes to 1, 2 minus 2, t goes to 0. Which is n or h1. So it will be 1 times 1, which is 1. So this is my answer. The same thing. I want the argument to be 2 minus x. So limit x goes to 2. This is x minus 2, x plus 2 over sine 2 minus x. By the way, if we substitute, you're getting 0 over 0. Huh? 4 minus 4, 0. 2 minus 2, sine 0 is 0. So I want 2 minus x. Either you take sine minus sine or something, or you can do it here. It's minus 2 minus x, x plus 2. So now, this is my claim, it will be 0. Let us see what will happen. This is will be equal limit, x goes to 2, minus x plus 2 times 2 minus x over sine 2 minus x. This is, you can do easily, it will be minus 4 times this limit. Where I let t equal 2 minus x. If I let t equal 2 minus 2x, it will be what? Limit t over sine t. x goes to 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, so t goes to 0. So it will be minus 4 times 1, which is minus 4. And that's that. Same idea, actually similar, goes to 1. Then x minus 1. This is x minus 1 times x plus 2. So this is, I will make it limit x goes to 1, 1 over x plus 2 times limit x goes to 1, then x minus 1 over x minus 1. My claim, and this is 1 by letting t equal x minus 1. And this you can do the calculation, it will be 1 over 3 times what? Limit t goes to 0, then t over t, which is 1. So the answer is 1 over 3. <clears throat> this is a little bit complicated in, in the calculation. It's not that difficult. This is sine 2, 1 minus cosine x. Oops. Times tan. 1 minus cosine x. And this one, this one is what? 1 minus cosine, P1 plus cosine, the difference of squares, all square. Or I can make it 1 minus cosine x, P1 minus cosine x. I'll distribute them among those. And this is, I will leave it as is, all square. <coughs> So that will be limit, x goes to 0, sine of 2, 1 minus cosine x over 1 minus cosine x times tan, 1 minus cosine x over 1 minus cosine x times 1 over 1 plus cosine x squared. For this one, I do let t equal 1 minus cosine x. Actually, if I can do it for both, for this one and this one. And this one, I can do the calculation. If we substitute, cosine 0 is 1, 1 plus 1, so this is 1 over 4. This one, if you let t, what you will get? That will be 1 over 4 times limit sine. 2t over t times tan t over t. No, 
Note, if x goes to zero, then cosine x goes to one, one minus one, so t goes to zero. And this is, we know how to do it. So it's one over four times two times one, so the answer is half, which is this one. You just divide, into, uh, no need actually, this is one, take the limit inside, so this will be cosine, limit theta goes to zero, of pi theta over sine theta. As we said, this is one times pi, so it will be cosine pi, which is minus one. This is you need to rationalize, times secant t plus one over secant t plus one. You notice if we substitute, you have one minus one, zero over zero, huh? all of these, you are, uh, you are having zero over zero. So this is will be limit, t goes to zero, secant square t minus one over two t square secant t plus one. So that will be limit, t goes to zero. Secant square minus one is what? You know that in you know, one plus tan square t is secant square t. So secant square minus one is tan square. So that will be tan square t over 2t square secant t plus 1. That would be limit, t goes to 0, and t over t, and t over t, 1 over 2, secant t plus 1. This is 1, 1, and the last one substitute, secant 0 is 1, 1 plus 1, so the answer is 1 over 4, which is this one. The same idea as we did before with this, with such argument. Slit theta goes to pi over four. C tan two minus two sine two theta. Over. If you open this, this is what cosine square theta minus two sine theta cosine theta plus sine squared theta. So it's what? It will be one minus sine two theta. So I let t equal one minus sine two theta. So we have what? This limit will be limit C. This is two for one minus sine two theta. So it will be thin tan 2t over t. Okay, now if theta goes to pi over 4, I have this sine pi over 2, which is 1, 1 minus 1, so t goes to 0, which is, we know it, this is 2, so the answer is 2c, which is this. Just you divide by x, it will be sine x over x, over one plus tan x over x. So it will be over one plus one, which is half, which is this. You need to check the argument. Sine x plus three over, this is x plus three times x plus five. Like so three x plus five x at x 15. This argument, we did it before is one, Substitute, so it will be one over two. You need to double check. This is one by editing t equal x plus three. You'll get limit t equals to zero sine t over t, which is yeah. Need to be careful a little bit. This is sine 2x, which is what? 2 sine x minus 2 sine x cosine x over 3x cubed. So you can take 2 sine x common factor. You have 1 minus cosine x over 3x cubed. 
you have cubed, so you need another factor. So you need to multiply. If you substitute, you have zero over zero. Huh? Actually, everything you have zero over zero all the time. So this is one plus cosine x, and one plus cosine x, which will give me sine squared. So it will be sine cube. So it can't deal with the cubed. Limit x goes to zero. I see it in the so, so we have what? Two sine x, one minus cosine squared, and here sine squared. Add a three x cubed, one plus cosine x. Or I can rewrite it as two over three, one plus cosine x, phi sine x over x. Sine x over x, sine x over x. Those are one times one times one. And this is just substitute. You have two over three, one plus one, which is two times one times one times one. Cancel, so you have one over three, which is this. Find the limit, which exists for this one. Substitute to have zero over zero. So this is the limit. Is equals to two. Cosine x minus two. Sine x minus two. Over what? Over x. Uh, x minus six. So it will be x minus x plus 3, x minus 2. This is will be 1, and this is you can substitute. This will be limit, this goes to 2, cosine x minus 2 over x plus 3, which you can substitute, times this limit. This is with something similar, this is 1, sine t over t, as t goes to 0, and this one substitute cosine zero, which is one over five times one, which is one over five. Yeah, limit t goes to one sine t minus one over t minus one to t plus one. This is by let x equal t minus 1, you'll get sine x over x as it goes to 0. So it's 1. So it's 1 times 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2. This is 1 over 2, as t goes to 1. Same idea. Limit x goes to 1. Tan x minus 1 over x minus 1, x times 2. This is goes to 1. So it's one over three. This is limit x goes to zero. One minus cosine two sine two x sine x over what? Two sine x cosine x. Mm. I mean you need we need to we need to check the argument which is here. So you let t equal to sine x. And you need to split this limit into two parts. One over cosine x, which affect nothing. And this is one minus the rest, two sine x over two sine x. This one, you can substitute. We have no problem, so it's one times here times the limit x goes to zero one minus cosine two sine x over two sine x by letting t two sine x that will be what you know let t equal two sine x that will be one times limit one minus cosine t over t x goes to zero, t goes to zero. 
And this is what? This is zero. So one times zero, which is zero. I think we did something similar. No problem. We'll do it again. Since we want to do all problems. X minus one. X plus one. This is one. This is one. Over two. OK, now the last special limit. I think this is the remaining. Oh, it's still. We have this special limit, limit x goes to zero. One plus x to the power one over x, this is e. Now look at this one, limit m goes to zero. One plus m over r to the power r over m cubed. To make it in the same, I want this to be x. So I let x m over r. And do the changes now. So that will be limit 1 plus x. OK, if x equal m over r, 1 over x will be r over m. So this is will be, this is 1 over x times 1 over q. Now, if m goes to zero, x goes to zero. So this, I can write it as the limit, x goes to zero, one plus x to the power one over x, all to the power one over q. We know that exponent and exponent, we can multiply them. And this is, we can write it as the limit, x goes to zero, one plus x to the power one over x, all to the power 1 over q. Since this is a continuous function, this is e, so e of 1 over q, which is this. The same thing here, but first I need to simplify it. It will be what? 1 plus 2x to the power 3 over x. So this is my t. I let t equal 2x. So this limit will be equal what? Limit one plus t. If t equal to x, it means x equal t over two. One over x equal two over t. So this is will be three times two over t. And if x goes to zero, t goes to zero. So that will be limit t goes to zero, one plus t to the power one over t times six, or to the power six. So the answer will be limit t goes to zero, one plus t to the power one over t, all to the power six, which is e to the power six. So this is a special limit. I think this is with it, uh, but this is now we want it x to half. So you need to do it from left and right. Um, so this is what limit is goes to half two x minus one over x squared with two x minus one. Well, clear this is c zero, so I need to check left and right. Limit x goes to half from right. It will be 2x minus 1. OK, so this is positive. This is positive. So get rid of the absolute value. Cancelled, substitute. You get 1 over 1 over 4, which is 4. However, limit is goes to half from left. It will be 2x minus 1. That will be positive. That will be negative. So you need a minus sign. Cancel, you will get minus four. So this limit does not exist. This one, you have uh,
You can start with cosine square by over x. This is between zero and one. Okay. Or you can start minus one over one, but it will make no difference. But this is will be okay since you want to by square root of x, which is will make it zero. So this is plus two, so it will be two. 2 plus cosine squared by over x, less than 3. Multiply by square root of x is positive. 2 square root of x, and a square root of x, all of this. And a 3 square root of x. This is goes to 0. This is goes to zero as this goes to zero from right. So it means this is goes to zero by sandwich theorem. Yeah, this is the same one. So I'll do it here. I need just to find the limit. Graph it, I think it will be it will not be easy things. So now check the limit. And this goes to y over two of sine x and the degrees integer. We need the graph of sine. This is the graph of sine. This is my over two. This is my two. Okay. So we'll check. Limit x goes to how this is sine x, huh? Limit this goes to by over two. Since when you substitute, we are getting integer. Sine by over two is one, so it's an integer. So we need to do it. No, this is not by over two. This is by. This is by over two. This is by over two. Okay. I'm guess integer of x. Check from right and from left. From right. Uh, yeah. I'm getting an integer, but it doesn't mean it does not exist. Huh? So you need to be careful. Not always does not exist. Okay. Goes to by one two from right. What you will do? Uh, by one two from right. By one two and more will be here. So it means this is one. So something less than one. So it will be point something. So that will be zero. Limit is goes to by over two from left to the greatest integer of sine x. It will be here. Still, by over two, before by over two, it will be point something. So the answer is zero. So this limit exists and it's equal to zero. So if you have an integer, not always the limit does not exist. You need to check it right and left. Is rationalize. Yeah. You have three plus four x plus five over three plus four x plus five. Now what limit x goes to one? 3 minus with a bracket to be sure you are not missing anything. 1 minus x, you are missing nothing. <laughs> Substitute and for limit x goes to 1, 3 minus 4x minus 5. So it will be what? If we substitute, you have got 0 over 0. Huh? Oh, it's, it's not three. This is nine, nine, sorry. Nine minus four X minus five. So it will be nine minus five, which is four minus four X. This is will be four minus four X. I can take four as a common factor. Over one minus X. For three plus the square root. Four X plus five. This is cancelled. Substitute, you have 4 over 3 plus 3. 
over 6, which is 2 over 3. Let's think very simple, very simple calculation. Actually, if substitute, you have what? 3 minus 3, 0 over 0. Huh? So you need to simplify it to x. You should have x minus 1 to x plus 1, uh, minus 1. Minus x minus 2x minus 3x. The same thing here. x plus 2, x minus 1. Cancel, substitute. You have 2 minus 1, 1 over 3. This is, I think, squeeze theorem, very clear squeeze theorem. Hmm? Sine 1 over x, minus 1 and 1, multiply by x squared. This goes to zero, this is goes to zero, so this is goes to zero by Sandwich there. As x goes to zero. I think this is the same. Oh, it's another one, another group. Yeah. I think I'll do this group, then I'll stop. Okay. Times two rationalize. Substitute, you get what? 2 minus 2, 0 over 0. So it means you need to rationalize. We have 4 minus x plus 2 <coughs> over 2 minus x, 2 plus square root x plus 2. This is what? 4 minus x minus 2. This is 2 minus x. So they are cancelled, very clear cancellation. Substitute, you get what? 1 over 2 plus 2, 1 over 4. This one you simplify. You have 4x, x plus 1. This should be plus 1. x plus 4x, 5x, correct. And this is x plus 2, x plus 1, 2, 2x plus x. Cancelled, substitute at the minus one. The yeah, other start zero over zero. Hmm? Um, it will be minus four, minus three, two minus one, which is one. So the answer is minus three. Yeah, this is squeeze theorem. Cosine one over x minus y over two between minus one. And one. Multiply it by this. X. And this is non negative, so it will be x minus will not affect the sign of the inequality 1 over x minus y over 2. As x goes to y over 2, this goes to 0, this goes to 0, it means this is goes to 0 by sandwich theorem, so this is 0. Yeah, I think I will stop here.